What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be doing a quick video on PK Hex for Pokemon Legends EA and the brand new Pokemon Legends EA Seed Finder, which the man himself Hex has built for PK Hex. Absolutely awesome plugin. This is going to be the definitive way to make legal tradable Pokemon for trade bots in Discord and on the Gen Pokemon website once that is supported for Legends EA. So to get started, we're going to need a few things. You will need a Windows PC for this to work. We are going to need to download PK Hex, and we are going to need to download the Pokemon Legends EA Seed Finder plugin. First, we're going to need to download PK Hex, which we will get from Hex's GitHub directly. We then want to select PK Hex. We then want to come down to the releases option, and then you'll click on the latest release. Then what you want to do is save the PK Hex.exe to a folder on your desktop. Also from Hex's GitHub, we need the Pokemon Legends EA Seed Finder. If you do have a GitHub account, go ahead and start the project to show your support for this awesome project. So go ahead, select the Seed Finder. You'll need to download the most recent release, which is here. Click on that, and then you'll want to just download the plugin.dll. Save that to your computer as well in the same folder as PKHex. Then once we've completed all those steps, we should have a folder on our desktop called PKHex. Call it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. I've just named mine PKHex as the AC Finder, so it's easy to find. Inside that folder, you should have PKHex.exe. You will also need to create a subfolder called Plugins, like this. And then inside that folder, that's where we place the PLZA Seed Finder DLL that we downloaded from Hex's GitHub. Now with that done, we can go ahead and open our PKHex and we'll drag PKHex over to the side here. So from here, to get the Seed Finder up, we need to go to Tools. And then it's hard to miss, it is PLZA Seed Finder and just click on that and this will bring up the next window. So essentially what this Seed Finder is, it's a tool that's going to allow us to search for every Pokemon that's available in the wild in Pokemon Legends EA. So as you can see, Bulbasaur is already in there. So if we just click on search down the bottom here, it's gonna search for every wild encounter in Legends EA, every possible encounter with its ability, stats, nature, and so on. So if we click on this bubble over here, a bit of information down the bottom about the encounter. Now that was just a real quick rundown of how the Seed Finder works. If you recall a minute ago, I said that the Seed Finder will look for every legal encounter for the Pokemon that is in the wild. What do I mean by that? So if we go into the Seed Finder and we type in Greninja, for example, I'll just type in Gren because it will start to find the Pokemon for you. So that doesn't come up because Greninja doesn't exist as a wild encounter in the game. Another example would be Charizard. So if we start typing in Charizard, as you can see, nothing in the search bar comes up. Once again, Charizard doesn't exist in the overworld currently in the wild as an encounter. So that is something to keep in mind. So if you wanted a Greninja, you would go back and then you would start to type for a Froki. So if we type in Froki, you can see it pretty much auto fills up once we've typed enough of the name in. So now that we've typed in Froki, we can come down and we can click on search. And that's brought up every wild encounter for Froki in the game. So if we just click on this one wild encounter here, you'll see a bit of information about the Froki encounter. However, this is a bit boring and we're gonna use some of the options to customize our search in the Seed Finder. So obviously our species is Froki. There's nothing in form, so leave that alone. Encounter sources, leave all four of these options ticked. Then in the encounter selection down here, we can actually select the different encounters for the Froki. Froki has three encounters in Legends EA. It's got the Alpha encounter, the non-alpha, and then you've got the gift encounter that you get to earlier on in the game as a gift. We're gonna go with a wild alpha encounter because alphas seem to be all the rave right now. So after that, we've got our next option that we can customize, which is the search criteria. You've got gender, nature, ability, shiny, TID and SID. So naturally you can go random, male, female or genderless for the gender. We will go with a male encounter nature. Let's go naughty, ability. There are technically no abilities in the game so leave that to any. Then you've got shiny which you can leave on random, never, always, square or star. We are going to select always. Now with our TID and our SID this step is important. You're going to want to set both of these and to find our TID and our SIDs, what we can do is use a trade bot in Discord, trade over a Pokemon, and then in the DMs and in the channel where you trade the Pokemon in the embeds, it's gonna show you your trainer information like this. 
So for me, my TID is 688374, and then my SID is 4202. If for any reason you're unable to get your own TID and SID, it is not essential. You can make this combination up. However, it is highly recommended to change the TID from 123456 and the SID from 1234 as we don't want to be changing this later in Pika Hex as this relates to the PID for the Pokemon and we want to be keeping this to the encounter that we've used in the Seed Finder. But then last but not least, we have the IV ranges. So you can set a minimum and a maximum amount of IVs that you would like to search for. As you can see up in the top right hand corner here, I've done a test run using six perfect IVs with the naughty nature that we set earlier down here and obviously it fills in an ability but ignore the ability it doesn't exist in the game now for a word of caution the more specific you get with your search for your Pokemon in the seed finder the more intensive the search becomes so a specific nature shiny alpha with six perfect IVs is incredibly, incredibly rare in the game. As you can see down in the bottom left hand corner, it did this many searches. I don't even know how big that number is. All I know is that it is over 9,000. It's over 9,000! So just something to keep in mind guys, the more specific you get with customizing your search criteria, the harder it is going to be for your computer to work to find the seeds in the game. I have quite a high-end computer with a Ryzen 9950X 3D, 64 gigs of DDR5 and an RTX 5090. With all of that hardware, it took quite some time to find the three specific seeds and it sounded like my computer was going to take off and head for the moon so just keep that in mind guys the more specific you get the harder it is to find the seeds that you're after so just experiment play around with the seed finder and see what works for you and then once you've found the seed that you're happy with all you have to do is go ahead and double click on the encounter keep in mind there might be a bit of a delay when you double click the file so don't go spamming it otherwise it's going to really bog down your computer and continue to open up seed finder windows there we go, there was a bit of a delay in between clicking and it loading the seed into PKHex. This small delay is because PKHex is running validation on the seed. So now we can close the seed finder itself and we can head over to PKHex. And as you can see, our shiny Alpha Froakie has been loaded into PKHex. It has the green valid tick symbol here, which means the encounter is legal. Now from here, there are a few more things that I would customize before using this file to trade through a trade bot directly. First, I would go to the OT slash MISC tab. From here, you'll see the SID and the TID are what we set in the seed finder, which is exactly what we want. The only other thing we are gonna to wanna to touch in the OT slash MISC tab is the OT, which you can currently see is PK Hex. You wanna change this to your trainer name in game, whatever that may be or you can make your own up, it doesn't matter. So for me, Nutella guy AU, and that is all that we're gonna to wanna to adjust in the OT slash MISC tab. The reason we don't wanna to touch the SID or the TID in Pika Hex itself, and we wanna adjust it in the Seed Finder screen, because if we head over to the main tab here, we can see that our PID here, which is currently set, this is found in the Seed Finder, and this is related to the legal encounter in the game. So if we go back over to the OT slash MISC tab here, we start making changes to the SID and the TID like so. We just change that to a bunch of random numbers. You'll see here that our Froakie is no longer shiny. It still says it's valid, but no longer shiny. And if we head back over to the main tab here, to make our Froakie shiny again, we have to click on the little star. And you'll see now, once we do that, it re-rolls the PID here. You can see the string has changed. This means that our shiny Alpha Froki is no longer the same Froki that we searched up in the Seed Finder. This isn't what we want, which is why it is important to set the TID and the SID when using the Seed Finder. And that right there is how we use the new Seed Finder plugin for Pika Hex to find illegal encounters within Pokemon Legends ZA. Now, there are a few other things that we can go ahead and customize in Pika Hex now with our file. However, keep in mind, the aim of the game is to have a 100% legal Pokemon and using the Seed Finder does just that. So when we go start editing things in Pika Hex, we start making changes to that seed that existed in the game legally. So I would advise against changing too many things. For the example of this video, if you wanted Greninja, simply go ahead and set Froakie's level to 36. And then once you trade it into the game using a trade, 
trade bot, you will be able to trade your Froki straight into Frogadier and then into Greninja. Another thing that would be fine to change is going into the Met tab and then selecting the ball in which your Pokemon comes in. So if you really wanted to, you could put your Froki, for example, into an Ultra Ball. As you can see, still legal, no worries. So also fine to change the met date. So if you want to go back in time a little bit, say to last week, the 29th, you can do just that. Feel free to continue customizing what you like, but I am content with my legal Froki here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go file and we're going to save that into the Pika hex folder. You don't have to, you can save it to your desktop. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and save. Or the other thing you can do is you can just click and drag onto your desktop. Now you can take your fully legitimate shiny alpha Froki file to trade through one of the trade bots in my Discord server. Link to my Discord server will be in the description of the video. Then all you have to do is click on the plus upload file find the file that you saved earlier to your desktop or into the pk hex folder import it into the bot channel and use a trade command dollar sign and t and you are all done the trade bot will then show us some of the information about the pokemon that we've requested so obviously we requested a shiny alpha froki which you can see here the met date was the 29th of the 10th of 2025 level was 30 you could ignore the ability because there is none in the game we did select naughty and our shiny alpha froki here has six perfect ivs and is in the ultra ball that we selected and then a little bit further down are my trainer details which are automatically applied by the trade bot the trade bot will then send you a dm with your own personal link code you'll then take that link code go to link trade in legends ea and begin searching for the trade partner using that link code i'm not going to show you how to do a trade in pokemon legends ea as it is extremely easy to do and that's it for today's pk hex video guide this is going to be one of the most efficient ways to create legal tradable Pokemon using Pika Hex for Discord trade bots. So have a good watch of the video, get familiar with the Seed Finder and start experimenting creating your own legal Pokemon today using the Seed Finder. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I appreciate you guys tuning in and until the next one, I'll catch you later. Peace out.